Good afternoon everyone, hope all is well. Just wanted to do a video. Um, I've had a lot of requests, a lot of people ask me for my simple email template. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna go through one or two email templates I use, and also my email strategy um, that will obviously, hopefully land you some clients. Now, if anyone knows me as a recruiter, I'm very strong on the business development side, meaning I can get a lot of clients on board, sometimes more than I can actually deal with. Um, so in terms of my sort of sales approach, I would say 80 to 90% will be done via an initial contact through email. So in this video, I'm going to quickly run down exactly how I'd find a client to email, um, their email address, and also what I send to them and why. So I will put a link to the description um, below how you can copy and paste this these email templates as well so they're very short and simple so obviously as you know I always search accounts payable um, and I've had a look at this company Abbey Healthcare so it's a pretty simple row accounts payable administrator um, nothing too too much to sort of go into it's probably going to be one position um, with this so they want two years experience not hard to find um, so what I would do is I would search Abbey Healthcare and this is just simply to get the email address um, I would search Abbey Healthcare and I would type in LinkedIn at the end. And what this will do, it will bring me to my LinkedIn page. Sometimes with the linked, LinkedIn search isn't as great. Um, and what you want to do is you either want to click people here or you want to click see all employees. I tend to click people because there's a search function here. And what you want to search is either HR. So you would have to go into, if it says LinkedIn member, I can show you a way to get around that um, as well. Or you want to type recruitment or recruiter <coughs> so there's no recruiter there um, so I might touch recruiter because this company is pretty much ideal um, depending on if they have budget so there's a recruitment manager here actually so they have someone in house um, and that's not necessarily a talent acquisition this person just manages their ads um, and sets up the hiring from that um, so we can have a look at their sort of profile have a read um, and we've got an email address here as well um, so I would copy and paste that. I would suggest you would get the first name, dot surname, and then the website address at the end as well. So that is actually his email address. So I'd plop it into here. And what I would do, in the title, I would put accounts payable admin. So you want to title it the same thing as their job. Um, and this is literally just to sort of approach them. So hello, Amin, or Aman. Um, hope all is well. I called earlier so I didn't obviously call but not once in my life has someone said oh sorry I missed your call um, so it's just so, hi called earlier was unable to reach you wanted to introduce myself um, as a specialist so you'd put whatever niche you're in so finance based recruitment agency notice you're recruiting for obviously an accounts accounts payable admin and believe me this imp this email might seem a bit you know not much information but I've literally tried and tested and this email s has won me you know blue chip clients before and um, maybe not just sending once but obviously there's follow-up emails I do so wondered if you'd be interested in viewing some of our candidates so notice you can either change this if you have a candidate so I have you you would put in here something like I have I have three candidates who I feel match the profile would you be interested in reviewing them um, and you can obviously chop and change that part I wouldn't change anything else and um, maybe if you want take out the hope is all is well um, and then straight up your rates currently we are offering either whatever rate you're charging so I just put 10 to 15 percent here um, and it's happy to discuss not when can we schedule a call like a lot of people put um, when are you free to talk happy to discuss bespoke needs um, and what an ideal client candidate would look like. So you're taking a soft approach um, rather than when are you free for a call is what 99% of emails put or when can I call or when are you available to talk. It's literally just leaving a board in their call um, and you're saying look in the call I'm going to talk about what the ideal candidate looks like. So if you schedule something here likelihood is they want to talk about their recruitment needs. So I look forward to hearing from you whatever you can change that part and in kind regards put your email signature. This is a very, very simple, easy template that anyone can use and it works in pretty much any industry. Um, all you need to change is the bits where I, ha I filled in um, the blank parts and change your rates. 
there are other emails I actually send um, what I'll do is I'll talk about the follow-up so this is a different email and it, it's usually sent to and it's usually very custom and it's for companies that I really really want to get into um, and start to work with so I would obviously put the email address up here um, same gentleman that we um, came across earlier so hey I'm in wanted to get in touch regarding and obviously you put the accounts payable so we just put a AP um, currently I'm recruiting for two direct competitors so this gives you um, and it works maybe not so much in this sort of industry so for them they're a healthcare company so I would say look I'm recruiting it usually works on the larger sort of clients um, companies that don't want to lose good candidates out to competitors now it does work um, I've used it in the health and fitness industry and there's usually about seven companies in that area so if you can recruit for the same position for two different companies and offer a good rate in that area this third company will probably want to at least read your email or find out who the competitors are that are recruiting as well um, so they always they're willing to obviously come back on an email and this gives them more of a sort of illusion of you know it's obviously more bespoke it takes a lot more time but clients really like this email um, and I use it for the bigger sort of clients and um, that company that we just you know looked at before Abbey Healthcare probably is a very small client and it might take you know two three people on a year um, so what I do in this email direct competitors and I name the competitors so I don't know Bupa and NHS and I make three to four placements per month with them um, obviously if you say I make 10 that's probably you know it's a bit of an exaggeration um, and it's personal so it's I make um, or it should be I make 10 to four, three to four placements per month with them um, well it should be for Booper and NHS yeah but you get the point and I would absolutely love to partner so not recruit for you it's I love to partner because it's going to be a long-term relationship with this sort of client that's a they've got volume and they're going to have jobs on every month so once you win a client like this it's actually worth you know 30 to 100k a year Um, it's not necessarily you know going to be two three grand so it's worth putting in the sort of effort now what I do is I build a short list of companies through that Um, and yeah I'll be willing you know would you be willing to trial so I say for one of your hardest filled positions so if you're offering to fill their hardest position chances are that you know they have other agencies working on it um, and they're not filling the position so if you're really good and experienced I usually write um, I can look at certain industries and my niches and know for a fact that you know if they've got 30 positions I can pick out which one's going to be the hardest to fill so I can say is it the accounts director role something along those lines um and then yeah and simply ask do you do you know abbey healthcare ever reach out to external agencies and what would a potential part and would a potential partnership be up for discussion kind regards there this gets more response way more response um probably about you know 50 60 percent response because it's bespoke and yeah it leads a better taste in their mouth um, it shows you've got sort of industry knowledge and you are actually recruiting for their competitors and their niche so this email works really really well it takes a lot more time this one I would definitely suggest starting off with it's pure volume but if you're you've got a small niche and you really want to get a big client on board if you're working from home one or two clients will, will probably suffice for that um, there's also follow-up emails that I use as well, which I might may or may not go into a bit later on. Um, I may be a separate video. So I have a four-stage interview, not interview. I have a four-stage email process. So, okay, I'll do it now actually. Um, so pretend we've sent this email. So you'd say, hello, I'm in. And this first, e first email was that one we sent. Um, this one would be just following up to see if you got my email. So this one is what's called a bump. Um, you wouldn't write that in there, obviously. And what it is, is just to sort of prompt it. You might have sent it at the wrong time. You may have sent it on a Monday morning when he's very busy. But a good chance of you doing, you know, this obviously just pings up the email again. Now, what I want to obviously do after that is um, send another email and just say, look, we're, we are recruiting. 
um, you know, and this usually prompts it because sometimes they might have an interview in process and they wouldn't look at your agency at the moment because they've got interviews in process but if those interviews all go bad they're going to start recruiting again or if the person didn't accept the job so in a week later you'd send that other email um, and then there's another follow-up email and just say hey we made two placements similar to the email I sent we've just made two placements I noticed you're still recruiting so we made two placements this month for Rupa and NHS and yeah just wondered if the position just wondered where you are with the position where you are with the position yeah and that's the third email and the final email is something along the lines of hello Amin I got I trust you no, don't need no assistance it's called a goodbye email um, and then you put something along the lines you don't need our service but you know, regardless, I'm not in the market to harass, um, even though you sent four emails in the space of a week. But you would say you're not in the market to harass. If anything changes, anything changes, you write something like, I want you to know you can count on me. Oh, you can. Or I would be open to discussing, you know, somewhere down the line if you require our services. And just put kind regards. And that one I would leave, you know, for a few months and then obviously follow up. Or you can try a different contact there. So I hope this video helped, um, you know, in terms of me rambling on. But I just wanted to give you a little idea of my sort of process. So if you do this, you know, 30 times um, per day, you're, you're more likely to be successful than making 100 calls. Because chances are I'll call this person um, and it won't pick up. But if you can get a direct email through them, um, it's probably one of the better ways to actually do it. So hope this video helped i'm going to drop a link in the description it'll be to a website i own so yeah you can have a look at the email template and just copy and paste it and try um do let me know how it goes as well i'd love to know if you've got any feedback or any emails that you don't know how to answer i'll be happy to help